A warning from the CDC on MPOX, formerly known as monkeypox, officials fearing a rebound outbreak coming this summer. Good morning, I'm Kristen Z. And good morning to you, I'm Karina Nova. The concern about a possible rebound is prompting officials to get the word out about getting vaccinated. ABC 7 News reporter Amanda De Costello has a look at the efforts and the effectiveness of the vaccine. The country's MPOX outbreak is not over, a reminder from the CDC this morning, but officials are commending continued public health efforts to improve vaccination and reduce health disparities. In a teleconference call, the CDC's MPOX response incident manager and the White House National MPOX response deputy coordinator combed through the numbers. The MPOX outbreak occurred with little warning, peaked in August with about 460 cases a day. Cases declined to an average of about one per day at this point, but the outbreak is not over. Crediting vaccinations, pointing to several studies which looked at estimates of vaccine effectiveness. One finding that two doses of the Genios vaccine were more than 88% effective against MPOX. The more immunity that we have in the community, the lower the chance it is that we will have any outbreaks. Simply put, higher vaccination rates equal lower risk for an outbreak. The CDC saying in one year, more than 30,000 domestic MPOX cases were reported across the U.S., more than 140,000 specimens were tested, and more than 1.2 million doses of vaccines were administered. Dr. Peter Chin Hong with UCSF weighing in. There hasn't been much resistance to getting the first vaccine, but I would say that it's been disappointing that a lot of people haven't gone to get the second dose. And again, uh, enough time has elapsed where I think that second dose is going to be really important for many people to get. The CDC looking to get the information out ahead of the summertime, concerned about the potential for increased risk, saying the data around vaccine effectiveness and preventative power is substantial in any step toward ending MPOX transmission in the United States. Men who have sex with men who could benefit from HIV pre-exposure prophylaxis, plus men who have sex with men who are um, living with HIV um, with that a 25% correction factor really takes us to a denominator of about 1.7 million individuals who could benefit from vaccine. I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.